if there's one thing that this app has taught me, it is that there is no correct way to be a black woman. And I hate that for us. I wish I knew the creator where I first heard that, that there is no correct way to be a black woman. I have been on this app for three years and over the course of the last three years, I have watched black women be vilified. I remember when the owner of Honey Pot sold, first she had to change the formulation to make it more stable so that she could grow her company. And then she was criticized for that, even though she was actually making the product better. And then later on, she sold her business. And I saw her get vilified for selling the business. So there's no correct way to run your business. When you do the right thing, you're criticized. When you sell it and grow it, you're criticized. It does not matter what you do. As a black female business owner, you are gonna be vilified. Recently, I watched an influencer, and I cannot remember her name, be vilified for letting the father of her children spend more time raising the children. Like, I can't remember who it was, but she's a young girl, and the children spend more time with their father than they do her, and she's criticized for being a bad mother, even though she chose a phenomenal father, and he's doing his part as the father. Like it's insane. There's no correct way to do it. If you choose a good baby daddy, somehow or another you're wrong for doing that. If you choose a bad baby daddy, you're still wrong. Like there's no way to choose and be happy as a black woman when it comes to relationships either. I watched Jackie be criticized for not wanting to be called auntie. Like, that is not that big of a deal. If she doesn't want to be called that, don't fucking call it. Like, it's not hard to respect somebody's boundaries. And I've watched people call her a sellout when she is like the last person that should be called a sellout because she was one of the first black women to even be like a makeup type person on YouTube. She's one of the people that I look up to with my candle company. Like, I don't, there's no way to exist. And uh, finally, I think the biggest thing is this whole thing with Amanda Seals. And I'm not even an Amanda Seals fan, but what's happening to her is like what happens to black women over and over and over again. When you are outspoken, you're just dog piled on by everybody. And it's tiring for all of us. And yet somehow or another, black women continue to tear down other black women. Even my little raggedy 100,000 followers, I've been criticized with my company for being a Southern thing company. I've been called a mammy. Uh, uh, I can't say the word, a house. Um, because my whole family is from the South and I made a company about all that I know, which is living in the South. When I first got on this app, I was vilified because I didn't look enough like a CEO. I didn't act like a CEO. I didn't look like a CEO. And I'm like, but I am. So what is it supposed to look like? I've been criticized for getting a divorce and being single. <laughs> Like, there's no correct way to exist. If I stay married, I get criticized for being in an unhappy marriage. And if I divorce, then I'm going to be lonely and single. If I talk about how happy I am single, that's why I'm a dog. Like, it's tiring. It's upsetting. Mm -hmm. And it makes me sad for all black women. And I hope somehow or another we will all find a way to kind of come together so that we can exist authentically. However that may look for you or for me or, or for the next generation. But at some point in time, like we all have to figure out how to let black women just be.